My name is Monique Minnis, M-I-N-N-U-S. I have lived in uh, Flushing. Oh, well, I grew up here. My parents, uh, <clears throat> my dad's deceased, but my mom is still in the same apartment since uh, four, 62 years. I am 64 years old. I came here when I was two. I did daycare. I did, I did the sandbox. I did daycare. I did elementary. I did middle school, which was 189. Elementary was um, um, PS20. And high school was Flushing High. 1968, I graduated from Flushing High. The same, the same year that Dr. Martin Luther King was assassinated. I was in class and it was very devastating and it not only affected just the black students but it also, or back then when you say Afro-American students, but it also affected everybody of all nationalities. Flushing was where people came to get away from uh, the places where they were, where practicing their religion had them persecuted. So they come here. And this is why you find churches, temples, uh, Mars, because you could come here and practice your religion. So, w without police or the government pouncing down on you, it's freedom of religion, and that's very important. So that is why you have such a mixture here in Flushing, and then on top of that. As a child growing up here, I didn't have to take a plane to go somewhere to visit. <laughs> if I wanted Chinese food, Korean food, and uh, you, then we had, um, believe it or not, the um, uh, Prime Minister of Tokyo, of Tokyo, of Japan, his daughter was here. He was here, so where did he put his family? He put his family in Flushing. And they lived right across the street from PS20. And we all graduated together. And um, Yukako. And we, her mother was always inviting us up. It was just a few of us that she would have up. And, she, and, and she'd make this, um, uh, this fruit out of jello. With that, it was, it, was, it was different than what we were used to having jello, you know, the American way. So it was really great, and we ate. And then uh, her mother wanted us, to, asked us if we would like to sit at the table. And we said, no, we want to sit like you guys sit. So we had, they had the small table where they sat on the floor, you know, usually kneeling. But anyhow, that was good. Then I had a Spanish girlfriend, okay? Uh, I had a Spanish girlfriend from Puerto Rico. I had a Spanish friend from Dominican Republic. I had a Spanish friend from Colombia, Argentina, you know, um, Brazil, um, 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 Ecuador. Uh, my oldest son, before he got married, he, he, um, he dated an Ecuadorian girl before he met the love of his life. So, I mean, so it was, you know, it's just... Um, it's just remarkable how your children, I mean, and my youngest son, I, well, with my sons, I never knew who was coming by. Same thing with my daughter. We, they, we were like the League of, we were like the United Nations, you know? But it was cool because that's, that's how I grew up and that's how I, w I would want my children to grow up. Well, every ethnic group that comes gets blamed for a lot. Okay, um, I don't care what ethnic group it was. Um, uh, you get blamed for whatever goes wrong in the community. <laughs> um, 
but eventually, because of the children, they learn how to get along, how to merge. Because the kids, if, if I work in the schools all the time, and I spent, oh gosh, I spent close to 40 years as PTA. And when the parents didn't want their child, they say to their child, I don't want you playing with him, that black boy, or I don't want you playing with that Asian kid. Uh, I don't, I don't want, I, I don't want you to, to play with uh, that Spanish. Uh, I don't know where he's coming from and all that kind of stuff. Well, what the kids do? They be, they, they join service league in the school, so they don't come out for lunch. So they them and their friend could be together. Boys and girls do it. Because the parents would have spies looking in the schoolyard. Okay, after after you eat, you're going to do, go to recess. Well, those kids are bright. They said, we're not going to recess. We're going to do certain service so that we can stay indoors. And, that, and them and their friends are together. So you see, where parents try to divide, kids find a way to keep it all together.